Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the Ohio farm. It's the end of November. Uh, we got some rain overnight. It looks like we got rain in the forecast yet again today. There shouldn't be anything uh, available in contracts today. It's so late in the season. I think we finished up the cotton harvest. Oh, well, who knows? Maybe there could be more. Yes, excellent. We made a fair amount of money um, doing those cotton harvests. I think in excess crop, we probably got two times what the contracts were worth. So they are lucrative. And with that particular uh, case cotton picker, once you get a worker set up for success on that one, it just chugs away. So, yeah, that was a, a good money maker yesterday. That honey pallet's about half completed. We've got one over here we can throw in the back of the pickup and take over to the selling lodge this morning. I uh, got the semi with the drop deck over here because we're going to get the rest of these straw bales off this field or off this area between the field before Roger starts doing something in his field and that doesn't really give us access anymore. We got our canola growing here. I don't know where to park the truck, really. To load it. I guess the only thing to do is take it over there. Other thing we need to do today is we need to do a maintenance stand down here at the end of November and get all our equipment uh, repaired. Slept in to let it get light. We should check the weather, see when that rain is going to start, too. I don't know if it'll really impact us too much, but. but I probably shouldn't have made that turn at that time, but we did. I think I'll go down to Rogers, turn around, come back up. Man, that's not. Uh, it'd be shorter to be down at Rogers, I think. Come across his field. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do.
pull up over here. We'll load this up here quick this morning. Sirens. Hmm. I think no matter what I do, it's going to be a ways away, but I think this is closer than it would have been going that way. I don't know. At least that's what it seems like. of this, I suppose. seemed like I made that just a little bit harder than it needed to be but we got it done <laughs> take these over and we'll park it over at the west place somewhere probably down towards the bottom of the field it's a lot of work to be done all over the place <laughs> Let's see.
Yeah, I think I'll park it. I want to get that honey pallet over here at the farm shop. I'll park up here so I can be close to the to the farm. We want to probably feed cows today too. Let's see. Okay, here we are. This is the self-made cow shed. We got a good good amount of milk. Let's get that in the farm dairy. The other chickens need to be fed. These guys could use a hay bale too. Of course, I just left the uh, <laughs> truck over at the other place. I saw the rain. It looks like it's coming about one o'clock. Oh, I got stones in here to spread on the driveway. Mm, that's in the way. <laughs> the milk quick. Oh, this is whole 2,000 liters, I think. All right. I might go back and grab the rest of that and put it in here, too. around. It'll work just fine. I'm wondering. Wow. Yeah, I better half full again. Uh-oh. 
Well, that was definitely the wrong way. <laughs> I love this little trailer. I really do. It's just when you start to go fast, it'll... mess up on you. Let's see. Oh boy. That's why you need to do small inputs. Alright, let's get this started again. Butter, right? I wonder when we should start making cheese in it. I want to feed the chickens. Take this over and put it in the chicken pan. Oh man. Lost sight of it through the tree. Chickens are excited. Here you go, here's some food. Maintenance on this thing is bad. So what, what now? <laughs> I think I'm gonna grab the, go get the pickup. Bring that honey pallet over here. Oh, let me run down. I should have probably, when I was in the Massey, run down to see if there was any maple syrup bring up here. over here because I might want access to the to the gas the fuel and the uh, workshop area so let's put it right here grab a pickup we'll bring it down we'll put a honey pallet in the back of it
like a weird button combination for this one to uh, open the back. It's like L1 and triangle one, usually it's like a L1 and X to unfold. I get used to it and figure it out. The longer I have it. Kids here, what? And then I want to grab this. I should have strapped that honey pallet down. I won't be in there long. Go grab this. Let's do those repairs on that Massey Ferguson, and I'll run down and see if there is a uh, pallet down by the uh, maple syrup production. Two thousand one hundred essentially. Not going to repair the weight. All right, let's run down there quick.
can't tell. I don't think there's anything there. Oh, there is. I gotta get some kind of fertilizer down on this grass field too before too much longer. Otherwise I won't be able to get that fertilizing state for the next time we cut the grass and collect it off air. This is kind of a I don't know, a housekeeping episode. <laughs> End of season. Before the winter. Keep forgetting it comes here. Six six four. Not bad, but not great. on the telehandler. I think it needed some work. But I'm not sure. Got toolbox here. I wonder if I can do it inside. Never tried this. No reason why it shouldn't work. Here we go. 1332. Well, while I'm here, might as well. How about this? Ooh, wow. That needs a little. Oh, I think the. I think this needs quite a bit, actually. Oh, no. Not too bad. about this oh three thousand boy vehicle maintenance is working us over oh the John Deere probably needs it Oh, 6500 $171 to repair the weight.
We're just getting it all done today. spreader here. There we got it. Yep, I thought it needed some. Well, that should pretty much be about it. The semi-truck. I guess this is one way to do the maintenance stand on just carry the toolbox around to all the equipment. <laughs> probably pretty good. We'll go put this in the back of the pickup again. Nope. Baylor maybe. And then go through the other farm. I think I think we spent probably nearly twenty thousand dollars on maintenance and repairs. I want to look at the uh, <laughs> finances screen, just see what happened there. Oh. Let's take a look at that finances, and then let's see vehicle running cost. There it is. 17,652 it looks like it says and yeah, nearly $20,000 wow that's quite a bit alright what are we doing next got those stones we gotta feed the cows And get the tr other tractor over here. So let's dump these stones out first. them right here I guess
grab this. See if we can massage these around a little bit, spread them out. I'm expecting a little bigger pile than that, I thought. No. I don't want to just take off like the top layer. Easier said than done sometimes. It's interesting. It work very well right now. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it spread out better before. Never seems to work well. messing with this all right we got done pushing the gravel around over at the west place and then i brought the john deere 4755 back over here with the toolbox to the farm and then i'm gonna go <laughs> walk across the field back to rogers and get our case tractor take it back over to the west place and we maybe we can mix up a uh Mixer wagon of uh, t total mixed ration feed for the cows, and and then I think maybe try and get the uh, fertilizing done. I'm not sure what will get done. The rain's supposed to come about one o'clock and continue on to three, so I might try and work up until it actually starts raining. And that way, I can go in the house and eat while the rain's coming down. And then, uh, I won't miss out on an opportunity to get some things done. I know we're kind of all over the place scattered what we're doing here. But we're just doing all the little jobs that need to get done. Because I think the farming's pretty much done for the year. We could... I guess cultivate but I think we'll probably just hold off on that because uh, really there's not much time to get a lot done today we got to do that fertilizing and then do all these little jobs so yeah I'm just not sure we'll have a lot of time to do much else So we're getting slowly getting this kind of uh, drive gravel up to the building. We're almost there. A little bit further, but we're getting there. Let's see. So we're going to grab one of these. Let's start from this end. Oh, we got a butter pallet.
was going to say, you know what, I'll grab that and take it over to the farm shop before I take the pallet forks off, but I already took the pallet forks off, so yeah, no hurry on that. I was getting this ready to uh, hook up to the feed mixer so I had the weight off and I think the pallet forks I had off when I was had that little pusher that we were using for the gravel and then yeah anyway let's put this in there I think we can get everywhere we need to get to, right? The trailer's not in front. Yeah. Almost positive we can get everywhere we need to. We need to go grab five straw bales, then slip underneath the silage. Oh, I do need to turn off the uh, silage production on the stave silo with the chaff because we ran out of chaff before I forget to do that. Let's see. Yep, turn that off. How is the... Um, nice. Got quite a bit of them. Let's see. Five... Out of these, I'd like to push that um, baler back in a little farther. One, two. I'll throw it over if I throw it over. Three. Get this one I knocked off. Whoops. Four. That worked. Grab this one here. <laughs> and oh, five. That little green $82 sold bale that tells me that the feeding place is out of bales right now. Which is not ideal. But let's see. Pull up here. And fill it up. How many I'm, I'm off a little bit on our what our uh, cows need here I'm not sure how long it's been since we fed them and the uh, volume of this feed mixers kind of I don't know I don't do it enough so I'm off a little bit on how much this will fill this up if it'll fill it all the way most of the way half the way we'll see here in a minute it's probably best to keep these as full as possible that way you don't get distracted and let it run out and i don't know if it helps uh the cows the fuller it is but all right let's take a look at how much is in here yeah they can take another one and as i was scrolling down i saw the chickens it's like Man, how much more feed do those chickens need? How many chickens are in there? 
Oh my god, that's a ton. <laughs> Wonder. Hang on a second. I had to sneeze. So we'll see how muting this microphone works. Uh, should I do another one? Might as well. I might as well since I'm here. Probably should take some feed to the pa or uh, hay bale over to the pasture also. Now that I'm thinking about it feed the cows that are in there. We're not going to be able to take them out of the pasture for the winter like we did last year. <laughs> I've been thinking about putting in a cow barn, but another barn. The problem I have is I don't like I don't like to put in stuff that much because not that good at the terraforming and blending it in and the other thing on this map in the build menu you don't have access to all of the tree types so it's not as I don't know it's not as nice you don't have the opportunity to blend it in uh, as well as you could you, I think you only have oak is the only hardwood like I put by the uh, one uh, put over by the Quonset that's really the only tree I have you don't have like the American Elm and all the other tree types I don't know why that is too So that's why I like when the map maker does a good job of incorporating the animal pens in and stuff. And that's why I don't do add necessarily a whole lot. I think that was five. I was talking too much, lost my train of thought. <laughs> Which is why I'm quiet a lot sometimes and focusing on what I'm doing. I could probably put more straw bales on that trailer and get rid of some more. In it. Oh, did it stop? Must be full now. Yep, now it's full. <laughs> okay. I didn't need to do that. It's okay. We got some got some feed available for the winter. We won't have to mix more up. We'll just be able to pull the Mix your wagon out and go feed them. I all 
always never know how far back I am. That's perfect. I'll call that a win. Let's go grab one of these hay bale, take it to the pasture. Partially used, I think. My guess would be it'd be the one on this side, but I'm not sure. Yep. So they should certainly probably take all of that. Are you telling me I can't get there from here? <laughs> this is actually looking kind of full anymore. We got cows coming through. Coming through. Go grab that other one, see how much of that they'll take. happened there let me close this we'll come in from the other side I can't squeeze past I put the fence too close for a tractor with twins to be able to get by of course I didn't have it other than the John Deere, I didn't have this tractor when I put in this pasture. Some of it. Alright, I'm not going to get that fertilizing done, am I? Not before the rain.
probably end up having to do it off camera. Sorry. <laughs> Don't mean to leave you out like that. But I think we only got a few minutes left in the episode. We didn't do a whole lot of time lapses other than that bail handling with the uh, those straw bales. Feed the chicken some more. Let's put this away. Probably feed the chickens. And that's probably about it. gonna get looks like rain's coming I think I'm out of time hey I want to thank you for hanging out with me here at the Ohio farm if you enjoyed it hit that like button if you don't subscribe yet why not doesn't cost nothing see you next time